Blue Origin has become one of the least active companies in the space industry. It was once seen as the biggest competitor to SpaceX, but things have changed over the years. The company has faced delays and slow progress, falling far behind expectations. However, Blue Origin has now announced the launch date for its largest rocket, New Glenn, marking an important moment for its future. In this video, we'll look at what this announcement means, whether the launch will happen as planned, and the challenges that could delay it further. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more updates on space exploration. On October 30, 2024, Blue Origin achieved a significant milestone by transporting the first stage of its new Glenn rocket to Space Launch Complex 36 at Cape Canaveral. This 188-foot-tall stage was moved from the company's Merritt Island factory using a specialized transport vehicle measuring 310 feet in length, approximately the size of a football field. The transport assembly featured 22 axles and 176 tires, underscoring the massive scale of the operation. The first stage is now being prepared for a critical hot-fire test, which involves assembling and testing both the first and second stages together. This step is essential before the rocket can proceed to its maiden launch. In September, Blue Origin successfully conducted a 15-second static fire test of the second stage, powered by two BE engines that utilize liquid oxygen and hydrogen, each generating 173,000 pounds of thrust. Despite these advancements, Blue Origin faces considerable challenges before New Glenn is ready for launch. The company aims for a late November launch. However, this timeline appears ambitious. Recent photographs indicate that some sections of the rocket remain unfinished, and upcoming tests may reveal additional issues. This marks Blue Origin's first attempt at assembling and integrating the rocket stages, a complex process that often leads to delays. Regulatory hurdles further contribute to the uncertainty. Blue Origin has yet to secure a launch license, and the approval process could extend the timeline. Even if the rocket is technically ready, the absence of a license would postpone the launch. The slow pace of Blue Origin's development becomes more apparent when compared to SpaceX. In late 2017, SpaceX moved its Falcon Heavy rocket to the launch pad and conducted its first launch in February 2018, completing the process in about 40 days. Although Falcon Heavy is a more complex rocket with three boosters, SpaceX had extensive experience by that point, having already launched nearly 50 Falcon 9 rockets. In contrast, Blue Origin is still working on its first orbital rocket system. The company plans to land New Glenn's first stage on a drone ship during its inaugural launch, a bold move considering SpaceX only managed to successfully land a booster on its 20th launch. The first 19 tries were filled with issues ranging from engine malfunctions to control system failures, which SpaceX meticulously analyzed and resolved through a rapid iteration process. Attempting this on the first try is risky and could lead to significant setbacks if it fails. One of the key reasons SpaceX has been able to progress so rapidly is its test-fast, fail-fast, fix-fast philosophy. SpaceX frequently conducts tests and is not afraid to push its hardware to failure. This allows the company to identify flaws quickly, implement fixes, and iterate on designs in a remarkably short amount of time. For instance, during the Starship development process, SpaceX conducted numerous static fire tests, pressure tests, and even full-scale flight tests within weeks or months of each other. In stark contrast, Blue Origin takes a far more conservative approach. The company conducts tests infrequently and spends significantly more time in the planning and analysis phases before proceeding to the next stage. While this cautious approach reduces the chances of catastrophic failures during early tests, it severely slows down the development process. For example, Blue Origin has been working on the new Glenn rocket for over a decade, but has yet to conduct a full orbital flight test or demonstrate a successful booster landing. Even if Blue Origin succeeds in the launch and landing, the company will still lag behind SpaceX in terms of launch frequency. Even back in 2021, SpaceX conducted 31 successful launches. 
During the same year, Blue Origin managed only two suborbital flights with its new Shepard vehicle. In 2022, SpaceX took a significant leap forward with 61 successful launches, setting a new record for annual launches by a single company. In stark contrast, Blue Origin conducted just one crewed New Shepard flight. Later in the year, an uncrewed mission failed due to engine issues, grounding the New Shepard vehicle for over a year. By 2023, the gap widened even further. SpaceX completed an impressive 96 missions, with a 98% success rate, further cementing its dominance in the commercial launch market. Meanwhile, Blue Origin managed only a single uncrewed New Shepard flight in December. In 2024, SpaceX has conducted 108 launches, including several groundbreaking missions with its new Falcon 9 variant. The company has achieved a 99% success rate. Blue Origin, on the other hand, has yet to conduct any orbital launches. The much-anticipated maiden flight of the new Glenn rocket has been repeatedly delayed, with the current target set for late 2024. If New Glenn successfully launches and lands, it will be a significant step for Blue Origin. The rocket's 7BE-4 engines generate 3.8 million pounds of thrust at liftoff, making it more powerful than ULA's Vulcan Centaur, which uses only two BE-4 engines. New Glenn is also designed to be reusable, with each booster capable of flying up to 25 times. The competition between Blue Origin and SpaceX is rooted in their similar origins. Both companies were founded by billionaires, Jeff Bezos and Musk respectively, around the same time, with the shared goal of revolutionizing space travel through reusable rocket technology. However, their approaches have diverged over time. SpaceX's Starship and Blue Origin's New Glenn share similarities as heavy-lift, reusable rockets designed to reduce the cost of access to space. Some observers suggest that Bezos's vision for New Glenn was influenced by SpaceX's development of Starship, indicating a competitive dynamic between the two companies. As of December 2024, SpaceX's Starship program is significantly ahead of Blue Origin's New Glenn. SpaceX has conducted six orbital flight tests, achieving several key milestones. Notably, the fourth test flight in June 2024 marked the first time Starship reached space and completed a soft splashdown in the Indian Ocean, demonstrating substantial progress toward reusability. In the fifth test flight in October 2024, SpaceX successfully caught the Super Heavy booster with a giant mechanical arm upon its return to Earth, a maneuver described as absolutely insane, and a significant advancement in reusable rocket technology. The sixth test flight in November 2024 further showcased Starship's capabilities, with the spacecraft making a safe landing and remaining intact after a splashdown in the Indian Ocean. SpaceX is now actively preparing for the seventh test flight of its Starship launch vehicle, scheduled for January 11, 2025. This mission will feature Ship 33, the first Block 2 upper stage, paired with Booster 14. A notable aspect of this mission is NASA's involvement in capturing thermal imagery of Starship's re-entry. To facilitate this, a specially equipped Gulfstream 5 aircraft will be deployed to observe the spacecraft's descent and splashdown in the eastern Indian Ocean. In preparation, NASA has requested expedited waivers from the Federal Aviation Administration to conduct practice flights over the Gulf of Mexico and southwest Texas in early December. Following these exercises, the aircraft will be stationed in Perth, Australia, starting January 3, 2025, for additional rehearsals in the designated landing area, leading up to the planned Starship flight on January 11. That's all for today's video. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates. Thanks for watching.